Is this another home run for Still Austin? Is this bottle worth the hunt? Well, I already have a backup. So what do you think? Let's go. Welcome back to Old Fashioned Ways Plus Plus. Today we'll be doing another review, which means I will also be sharing. Why? Because Sharon is Karen. This is the way. This is their newest release. Now, I did a review on the red corn bottle and bond and I fell in love with that one. The evolution on that is just amazing and I love that one. But if you have not seen that review, I will leave a link for it right here. Now, let's get into this bottle, but let me pour some out and set aside so we can let that breathe. Ah, okay, popcorn, but it doesn't matter. It's the juice that's inside, right? That's juice. Juice? So let's pour some out. Didn't mean to pour that much, but it's okay. Don't tell my wife. This is the second release in their Bottle and Bond series. This is a Nancy Frailer masterpiece. She is a master blender and she's using all her skills to drive in all the flavors to an amazing balance. To bring balance to the force. This is a high rye bourbon whiskey, Bottle and Bond. So it's 70% corn, 25% rye, and 5% malted. So in this Bottle and Bond, it is 50% ABV, making it 100 proof, and it's aged at least four years. But from what I understand, these are aged probably five. This is their fall release represented by the Golden Stallion. They stay that the high rye calls in mind for the crisp fall air and the deep amber color reminds you of the red and gold leaves of the fall. If you're liking these videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button because it really helps me out and hit that notification bell so that you're not missing anything. I am getting super close to hitting a thousand subs. And when I do, I'll be doing a giveaway. When I hit a thousand subs, I will be giving away three bottles. That's right, three bottles of E.H. Taylor, small batch straight rye and single barrel. All three bottles will go to one lucky winner and that could be you. So make sure to hit that subscription so you don't miss out on a chance to win these. Now, as you know, because I'm doing a review, I will also be doing the giveaway. I'll be giving away some samples of this Still Austin High Rye. Don't worry, I still have some in this bottle. And of course, I do have my backup. So there will be samples to give around. Too many mounds, not enough to go around. You gotta stay tuned to find out how you qualify to win a sample. Why? Because sharing is caring. This is the way. Let's start reviewing the Still Austin High Rye Bottle and Bond. Of course, we're gonna use my standard scoring review of one through 10 on aroma, flavors, complexity, mouthfeel, finish, and would I buy again. So let's look at the color. As you can see, that's a nice dark color. It's like a, a caramel, a little bit like a dark honey or caramel. So it's a nice color. Let's uh, give it a little bit of an SJ here, a little swirl job. Let's see, look at that. Look at that stick. Has some nice runny legs there. Doesn't stick as long as some others, but it does have some nice long legs running there. Long legs, great skin. So let's get into this. Let's start with the aroma. Let's nose this. <sighs> My goodness, that smells so good. So right away, you get like an orange zest. You smell like an orangeness, but then you get this nice darkness to the end of it. <sighs> it's like a dark chocolate covered cherries is a good way to describe it. It's like you also get a little bit of like a, a breadiness in the background there, but the orange is really up front. Dark chocolate covered cherries is what I'm smelling predominantly. It's a little bit of like a, a rye kind of bread in the end there. So for aroma, it has a lot of goodness to it. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. Initial taste, let's go for the flavors, right? So let's get that in here. Let's get that in the palette. It is 100 proof and it doesn't drink very hot. So you don't get a lot of that alcohol smacking you in the face in the beginning. So that is a good thing, you know, you get to taste the flavors. And I love because this one does cover the whole tongue. So the, the initial taste is, it's not as much of that cherry as you would think, especially as the way it smelled, but you do get a little bit of like a citrus um, orange or a tangerine. So a little bit sweeter on that area, but very quickly you do get a little bit of a spice to this. And it, you know, it's a high rise. So of course you're gonna get that. So you get a little bit of that spiciness with uh, uh, a little bit of like an almond graham cracker, graham cracker type of taste. So citrusy in the front, a little bit of turns into spiciness and in the back is where I get that like nutty, nutty fudgkins, graham cracker, almond kind of flavor. So for initial flavors, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. Let's look at complexity. How does this evolve in the tongue? And that's where that second taste comes in and is always very helpful. So that second taste, 
I just love it. You know, you always get more of that flavor and complexity in that. You do get a lot of that citrusy in the front with the uh, spice and then the almond at the end. With that one, there was a little bit more oakiness. I did taste the oakiness and I taste that in the back of the throat. I do really like that. So how does this evolve on the tongue? It's very nice. It goes from that citrus kind of sweet flavor to a little bit of a spicy and then to a nutty, oaky flavor in the back. So for the complexity, I think I'm also gonna give that a seven. Let's go for the mouthful. Let's see the thickness and viscosity. Now, as I was testing this out earlier, it has a little bit of viscosity in the glass. It runs kind of quickly, so the, it's not as viscous as other ones on the glass, but let's go in for that mouthfeel. So I do like this mouthfeel. I really do. I like the way it does coat, goes through that flavors. It sticks on the tongue from front to back very well. It's got a nice texture. And I know I say velvet a lot, but man, when it sticks like this, there's almost no better way to describe it than a velvet texture. It's nice and thick and just stays on that tongue. And actually, it's funny, I'm starting to salivate more. It's sticking towards the back here and it's causing me to salivate more. <sighs> For the mouth film, because it does coat, does stick there very well, I still have it there. I'm gonna say, I'm also gonna give that a seven out of 10. Now, we have to go in for that finish. How long does it stay? How does it finish up? How does that body feel when you're doing that? So let's go in for that. From the first drink to the last, it's been on my tongue. I've had that taste. Every sip I taste, I taste something a little bit different. So you're able to, as your, as your tongue acclimates, you get to taste other things. I still get that citrus in the front, still get the spiciness and then the nuttiness. There is a little bit of, as I said on the last one, a little bit of oak flavor. And now I taste a little bit of like a dark chocolate. I was trying to figure out what that was earlier and I hadn't quite figured it out, but there is a dark chocolate hint on this. Now I didn't get that cherry that I smelled in the front, but I do get a little bit of that dark chocolate, which I really do like. So for the finish, I'll give this a 6.5. Now, big question, would I buy this again at MSRP? MSRP for this bottle is about $79 and uh, as you can tell, I would buy again, right? I did buy this. Uh, I bought a second one, or pretty much when I opened the first one, I started having, I started tasting it. And the reason I went to go buy a second one so quickly is because it is a limited release. It is a seasonal item. So once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone! It's all gone. Right? I've seen this one out there a few places still, and I'm hoping to pick up one more bottle I have on the back up there because I'm already almost through this one and I'm gonna be giving out samples so that probably will finish this one off and then I'll have to open this one up. So I'd like to have a backup for that. So for $79, would I buy this again? Yes, I already proved that I would. And I actually plan to hopefully get another backup if I get to. And on a scale from one to 10 of would I buy again, I give this a nine. So. After doing the calculations, my total score is 43.5 out of 60. Now for something that's a, you know, an $80 bottle, I think that's a great score. I think Nancy Fraley is doing a great job. Her blending technique, she is a master blender and she does a great job with that. I'm actually gonna be doing another thing with her pretty soon on this cigar blend. I'm gonna be doing a cigar blend blind and of course, uh, She's pretty much the one that invented that, but we'll talk more about that in that video. Now, have you tried this? Have you tried any of the Still Austins? Have you been able to try any of the Still Austins bottled and bonds? If you have, let me know what you think. Let me, you know, mention the comments below if you've had any, or have you had a different high rye, a high rye that you like that you think I should try? So mention that in the comments below. Let's talk about how you can have a chance to qualify to win a sample of this Still Austin high rye bottle and bond series. All you have to do is like this video first. That really does help me, helps me get out there, helps me grow. You know, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs. So liking this video gets me one step closer to that. Of course, make sure you're subscribed. When I'm subscribed, you know, if you're subscribed, you have a chance to win those three bottles. I'm gonna be giving that giveaway when I hit a thousand subs. So make sure to be subscribed. And last but not least, in the comment below, mention Nancy Fraley. The more I learned about her, the more I realized how much she has done to progress the blending of spirits the blending of bourbons, the blending of whiskeys. She's just an amazing person. And I just wanna give her a shout out because of how amazing she is. You are amazing. A week from today, I will be putting all the names that qualify into a random generator and generating that and then pulling five names for five samples of one ounce pours. 
of course you must be at least 21 years old and live in the US to qualify. So good luck. And of course, I'll be doing an old fashioned out of this one. Why not, right? So much fun to do old fashions of this. I already kind of wrote that one up and um, now I think I might be doing two of them with it after tasting this again. There's just so much flavor to this. I mean, how can you not? There's just so much fun to be had with. Because you're just too much fun. <laughs> This type of spirit has so much potential to go so many different ways. So yeah, I think I'll probably be doing two old fashions with this one. Once again, thank you everybody for joining me on another journey down my bourbon rabbit hole. Cheers to everyone. And thank you, my friends, till our next journey.